next Showtime card, PBC card on the schedule, I should say, because the Shields card specifically isn't a PBC card, right? It's a Showtime card, not a PBC card. The next PBC on Showtime card is Erickson Lubin versus Terrero Gachet and Brian Castano versus Wale Armatosa. <laughs> a little loud. Um, <laughs> slow down there, Ricky. Um, <laughs> sipping that brandy there. Uh, uh, he's always loud. I Showtime putting them bids in. One in those licenses. These, the, fun, the funny part is, like, these fights aren't bad, right? Like, I think Lubin Gachet is fine. Like, they were going to make Lubin Hogan instead. So it's not like you got, like, a real drop-off in talent. And Gachet actually looked decent in his last fight. I will give him that. For a guy that's looked traditionally a, like an underwhelming fighter throughout his career, his last fight was a decent performance. Uh, Brian Castano, he looked great against Azulon De Laura. Wale Armatosa is a fun action fighter. That should be a knockout for Castano. That should be a fun action fight. But again, with the with the storyline of this year being Showtime, or one of the story times this year being Showtime boxing sort of falling apart, this isn't really a marquee event. You know? Like a year or two ago, this is a Showbox Next Generation card almost right like it's a friday card now it's a saturday card that's gonna be competing on this date with a ton of other big events with a decent no a really good main event that's a good triple header i i can agree with that like if, if the, this was showtime championship boxing and there was a world title fight ahead of this this is a good triple header Ooh, if they could make leo versus gary russell jr on the top of this it's perfect. You would not event. complain about this, but the fact is that fight isn't on the top, and it's just left with these. Like you yeah. say, they're not they're not bad fights. No. It just fits with the whole. I, I want to make that point very clear in case like some of these guys are listening. Like these fights are good. I like these fighters. Oh, but with, be a pussy. <laughs> with, with the narrative of Showtime boxing falling apart, this fight doesn't, or this card doesn't helps stop that. No, no, it it helps the narrative. Trust me, yeah, yeah, it doesn't stop the narrative at all. No. And I think the critics of Showtime will look at this and go, is like it, yeah, and look, is this it? Really? Um, if they don't do the Ricky, they'll do this one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry. And no. I wonder, Rob, hypothetically speaking, let's say Wilder Ortiz 2 is a Showtime pay-per-view, right? Because it's going to be pay-per-view. Um, not Fox pay per view. It's a Showtime pay per view, right? And let's say they have the Charlo Hogan fight in December or something like that as a Showtime main event. Is Showtime happy? Like, are the fans happy with Showtime schedule this year? Like, is that enough? Probably not, in my opinion. But I'm just again, that, really. hypothetically, that's going to be the schedule most likely, right? You yeah, have if, if Showtime get the Wilder fight, you yeah. have Lubin. You have the Lubin fight in October. You would have the Wilder fight in November, and then a December card, right? Presumably speaking, because there's no card in August and September for PBC and Showtime, and they have a ten fight deal with Showtime, one a month, right? And um, except for two months, they already have the two months out of the schedule. So we're expecting a card each month in October, November, and December. You know, I just sort of planning out what can Showtime do to stop this narrative. Wild Ortiz has to be in the docket for them, even if it's pay per view. It has to be on that network, or they're going to catch massive flack. And they might have to catch like a uh, Harrison Charlo main event in December or something like that. They might have to hope for that to be a, a Showtime main event. But I think that's already a Fox card, I, I want to say. Um, it just, again, the narrative of Showtime boxing this year is going to be a sad narrative overall. Yes. Yes. No, I agree. <laughs> yes. Uh, call in 323 870 Press 1 to get in the queue. And-